You lead us to go and borrow more money than any government has borrowed in the last 50 years, only for us to find out that the very two people that the president has appointed, one as Minister of Finance and another as Minister of Finance at the presidency, nonsense and, and I was about to come to no, that, what because, is that because the MPs what also wrote him into the conversation are, are you calling both of these are you, are you aware that my rant of 17th August mm. has led to Parliament asking for this to be the first thing that is discussed I am only a citizen mm -hmm. my power is in my household I am the president of the Che Dakwa household that does not mean when you are president of Ghana I relinquish my common sense. Free SHS is a good idea. I think it's a stupid idea for we who can afford to pay. Because you see, it is similar to Kwesi Kwarteng's thing that he did in England. Instead of giving the poor some alleviation, he rather cut taxes all across so he can still please his banker bosses. See, you need to understand this, Ghanaians. Learn, learn and understand that most of the people in politics are funded by people with some money. And like I told you, l'argent n'y a pas d'odeur. They don't care if the person who is funding them is an axe murderer, is a drug dealer, is a thief, is some, somebody who puts more money on top of the contracts. Those people will be rewarded. What happened with La Bianca? She's still there. She's on the Council of State. Who cares? She's a good woman. I know her personally. Fine woman. She's a businesswoman. Wherever there's a loophole, she will take it. But you see, I spoke with a criminal investigator in England who told me this. King, I want you to share this with your people in, in Ghana because I have seen some of your things on social media. I said, how? He said, you won't believe it. But it was sent to me by a Nigerian and a South African. And I said, which Interesting. one? Interesting. He says, which one? He says, the one about loyalty. I've seen others, but I think everyone for which you have spoken in your local language Get somebody to do the translation and share it as well because you're speaking wisdom not only for your country but for the world this criminal investigator told me that people who are selfish and greedy often have some veins of criminality and no matter where you put them they will look for loopholes whether in the window the door the ceiling in the law or contracts people who are criminally minded will find loopholes and use them. So it is up to the people who are in government. It's like that saying, opportunity makes the thief. The thieves will find the opportunity by any means necessary. Mm. So it is then up to the people in government to follow the thieves. In fact, at a certain point in time, employ the thieves as they deal, did with Abenali. Catch me if you can. That's another movie I want everybody to go and see to work <laughs> for the investigations, departments of the United States, to show them that this is how criminals think and this is what they do. One of the things criminals do is they give free money. They act as though they were, what's the word? You're, you're a logophile like me. The word, they give free money all the time, philanthropists. Oh, right. So in their philanthropy, you do not question how they make their money. So they will give, they will, they will give money to your children Right? And after they have given money to your children, you will thank them and you will send your children to carry food to their home. Do you know what happens to your children when they go there? Whether they are used for rituals or they are used for uh, some sort of slavery, you never know. So whenever somebody is giving for free, take it if you're in need, but always question the one that gives that you don't understand. And that is why in England, when you give people stuff for free, they go like, why are you doing this for me? Mm.